Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're in Rome. You got the forum right behind me. We're having a great time here as always in Rome. And today what we're going to do is give you five ways that tourists kind of mess up when they do travel. Kind of like little mistakes that we make when we do travel. So you don't make those same mistakes. And the first mistake I see a lot of people doing is they over plan. I mean I've had people they are like, I'm going to see nine countries in 12 days and take it all in like nine countries in 12 days, how are you gonna see anything? If you try to pack too much into your trip, you're gonna get one, burned out, but two, you're not gonna be able to see as, as much of what you wanna see, and it becomes too much time of unpacking, packing, travel, packing, unpacking, travel. Oh, did I get to see the sights in Paris? Or was I just unpacking my suitcase? So I recommend is when you're planning, don't overdo it. Give yourself some extra time in different cities. You might need an extra day here and there, especially if you have kids. Throw in a kid day, like a free day, just to give them time to play at a park or do something like that. And if you're a traveler, if you try to do too much of your time period, you're going to get burned out. And so you won't enjoy going to see the Forum here in Rome. You'd be like, oh, I've been to Florence and Venice and Vienna and Budapest and Prague and, and Warsaw all in the last three days. I can't, I don't want to see any more. That does happen, okay? And in addition to the over planning, you have the over packing. I can't tell you how many times I've seen tourists with one big huge suitcase okay. behind them, a backpack on their back, a backpack on their front, and I'm thinking, what all are you bringing with you? You don't have to bring everything when you come. And that's the thing is that they have stores where you're gonna go. And that's actually one of Jocelyn's favorite things. When we go traveling, she goes and goes shopping to buy clothes so she fits in better when she goes there. And also when we go around, we don't have these bags we're lugging around. Because yes, when you're lugging too much luggage around, you do become a target. But for me, it's more like a freedom thing. Because I'm trying to drag two suitcases behind me with a backpack on me and these kind of things I'm not enjoying the sights I'm trying to I mean I'm not enjoying riding the metro that's for sure when you have less luggage it's easier for you to get around it makes life so much simpler and when you're doing public transport in Europe what you have to realize in lots of places in the world is there's not a lot of space and so you don't have places to put lots of big luggage or lug it overhead and things like that or keep your eye on it if you have to put it at the end of a train and stuff like that so just don't overpack because you don't need to bring the kitchen sink when you travel now the second mistake I see actually goes to the exact opposite of over planning and that's under planning this is when you're going and say you know what we're just gonna go and we'll be fine yeah the backpacking by the seat of your pants thing it is pretty fun I won't lie to you about that but you really need to make sure you at least prepare a little bit because you think you're just gonna show up in Dublin for st. Patrick's Day and get a place to stay uh, you might have some bad luck or I'm gonna go to Oktoberfest and party all night long well, it's kind of hard to get a table at Oktoberfest after six o'clock because they're all reserved for, 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 for companies. And that's why you really want to plan if you're going to be going to major cities during major tourist times to make sure you have a hotel and places to stay, eat, things like that. Another thing I'd want to warn you about with that is if you want to really do just fly by to the seat of your pants wherever I want to go, at least make two reservations. The first night you're getting into Europe and the night before you fly out. So you at least have those things set up. And in some countries, when you come in, you have to tell them where you're gonna be staying that first night, so you at least have that. And then you don't have to worry about what to deal with, like, oh, where are we gonna stay? I don't know what to do. So at least have those two things planned. So don't completely under plan, just have some things there, okay? Now, the third problem I see people having when they do travel is sometimes it's hard to really experience the culture. And the thing is, we're used to going, I'm going to the Forum, and then I'm going to the Colosseum, and then I'm going to go to St. Peter's, and I've seen Rome. Yes, you've seen the sights of Rome, but you didn't really get experience as much of the culture when it's there. And this is one of the really tough ones to do when you're traveling, especially if you're seeing lots of places. And so what you wanna to try to do is see if you can get at a cooking class or go do a tour of like the markets or something like that, or, or just try to talk to the people at your restaurant just to get to know a little bit of the culture while you're there. So then you can experience more because once you understand the Italian culture better, you'll love Rome so much more, but it is one of the tough things to do. Now the fourth mistake I see people make when they travel is they eat too much food that they know from home. And this can be here in Italy where they're like, oh, I want some spaghetti and meatballs. I'm like, meatballs are separate than the spaghetti here, okay? Um, you know pizza and things like that. So yeah, try those, but experiment out and try other dishes. Just because it's not on your Fazoli's menu back home doesn't mean it's not Italian. So do try to 
test out the new foods, places you go, not just the stuff you're used to hearing about. Here in Italy or here in Rome, I'll ask, hey, what's the regional dish? Oh, artichoke and sausage with, with cream and a, and a, a with, with pasta? Well, that sounds interesting. And you get to find out these new foods and it gives you a chance to know the culture a bit more. So do ask out. Now, I will give you this. If you're traveling for a long time, sometimes you do get burned out of pizza, pasta, meat, and all the tasty food here. It might take a few weeks, months, years, but it'll happen. And it's okay to, you know, if you want to stop at a, a restaurant you recognize or food from your home country, that's okay. So you do have that, but you want to try to limit that because those things you can have at home. So make sure you take the time and the money to go and explore the cultural food that's here, not just stuff you recognize from home. And the fifth mistake I see a lot of tourists make is they don't take public transport because maybe you're not used to public transport back home or you just figure I'll just take a taxi, I'll be fine. Look, you can use public transport throughout Europe. It's cheap, it goes everywhere, it's easy to use, you know, these kind of things. So do make sure you do use it because if you're using taxis and Uber all the time, and Uber's a lot of places in Europe, not everywhere, but a lot of places, you know, you get kind of, you know, you don't get to see how people live but also you're gonna spend a lot more money using those private drivers and stuff like that. So do use that public transport because it's easy to get around and see so many more things. Anyway, those are just five little mistakes I see travelers make. And I'll be honest, I make some of those mistakes myself, so it's okay. But I just wanna put those out there so you know, are we trying to do too much? Are we not planning enough? What should I be doing? These kind of things, I hope it helped you out. Anyway, if you wanna learn more about traveling, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. Also, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you youtube.com slash Walters World. We put out two travel videos every week, every Wednesday and Saturday. So you'll things like 10 things that'll shock you about coming to Rome, what you should eat in Italy or Germany or Mexico. Anyway, I'll say bye from Rome and the forum's right there. <laughs> Ciao.